running 42 inch tires who doesn't want 42 inch tires but don't worry guys on this video i'm going to tell you every single detail and every single part you're going to need to upgrade on your jeep jk to run 42 inch tires so don't go anywhere what's going on my friends welcome back to the channel and basically i had 37 inch tire before my 42s and every time i went to a jeep show or meet there were guys on 40s and i felt less important and i felt that nobody was paying attention to my jeep i know guys maybe that was just me but i wanted my jeep to be the best or at least one of the best on the jeep meet or on the jeep shows so without even thinking about it i went to carnage motorsport and i ordered some 42 inch people tires just to let you know guys and maybe you already know this but 42 inch tires are massive tires and they are really really heavy with that in mind you're going to have a lot of stress on your suspension and drive line component like your drive shaft for example and the first mistake that i did was thinking that with a six inch lift kit i was going to fit my 42 inch tires and boy i was very wrong about it so yes you can fit the 42 inch tire with a six inch lift kit but you're going to rub and rub a lot so what i did is uh, that i ordered some coilovers uh in my case i have the king double throwdown coilovers but those are some expensive coilovers you can basically upgrade to any coilovers so if you have a Dana Teddy front axle uh, because you have a Wrangler Sport or Wrangler Sahara, just forget about it. You're going to have to upgrade your axle first. And this is the most important part that you are going to need to upgrade. And let's say that you have already a Dana 44 because you have a Rubicon. You're going to need to upgrade that axle too. You're going to need thrust, you're going to need chromoly axles, and you're going to need to re-gear, of course. In my particular case, I have a Teraflex 44 with RCV axles, ARB lockers, and 488 gears. And no, in case you're wondering, you don't need a PSC steering kit to run 42 inch tires. I was using a Fox ATS um, steering stabilizer before without any problem at all. And now the rear axle. You can stay with your rear Dana 44, and of course, you're going to need to re gear. Uh, but you can stay with it with no problem just as long as you don't do anything crazy You can do lie off roadings But if you're planning to go off roading and do some rock crawling You better upgrade your rear axle to at least a Dana 60 And look what happened to my rear Dana 44 I totally destroyed it But don't worry guys, I ordered um, a rear 60 axle last week And it is coming hopefully next week and on top of that, I'm also planning to upgrade it. I'm putting an Artec truss on it and every single component on that axle is going to be from Yukon gear and axle. And I also forgot to mention that you're also going to need to stretch your rear axle just a little bit, about two to three inches. And another very, very important part that you're going to need to upgrade are your drag shaft. But not just any drag shaft, you're going to need at least a 1350 drag shaft. And in my case, I'm using Tom Wood drag shaft. And Tom Wood is a great company with a great customer service. So I really recommend them. So the brakes, that's something that you're going to need to upgrade because like I said, um, 42 inch tires are really heavy and your Jeep is not going to uh, break as it used to break. A bigger brake kit can run from $1,000 to basically $3,000, $4,000 depending on the brand. I went with um, Extreme Power Stop and that's a three piston brake caliper and you can really feel the difference. Another um, very popular kit that a lot of people use to install is the Teraflex bigger brake kit. That's something really nice and they just come out with another brake kit that is called the uh, Teraflex Delta brake kit. Another part that you're going to need to upgrade is your tie rod and drag links. And I went with Synergy because they use chromoly. And in case you don't know, chromoly is twice as hard as steel. So it is very hard. And now something that I broke, my steering box. And that part is really, really expensive, around $800. But now I upgraded it to a PSC steering box and that uh, part is a high performance steering box. So I hope this one lasts a little bit longer. And I know guys, all of these parts are really, really expensive, a couple of thousand of dollars and you don't have to upgrade all of these parts at the same time you can do it little by little like i did 
Now for 42 inch tires, the minimum gear ratio that you're going to need to run is 513 and up. Now in my case, I'm running 488 because I already upgraded my gears since I had the 37 inch tires. But I'm not planning to upgrade it because my Jeep feels really nice like that. So those are the basic things that you need to upgrade on your Jeep if you want to run 42 inch tires. Now the question is, would I do it again? And the answer is, of course I would do it again. It makes it so much easier running on the trails. Plus the Jeep looks really, really nice. Well, my friends, I hope this video can help you. And if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. We're always uploading off-roading videos that I'm sure you guys are going to love. As always, see you in the next one.